Hey everybody, welcome back for another video. Uh, today we're working on my Cadillac uh, 2001 DeVille with the 32 valve North Star engine. Uh, it's running, uh, idling up and down, it's smoking a little bit. Uh, we pull up the stoplight, uh, it likes to die. Uh, and I, everything I've looked up and aiming towards the O2 sensor. Well, I put a new Cadillac bird in there and uh, O2 sensors and it, it's still not operating right. Okay, so so what we have is the spark plug non fowlers You can get them at Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. And uh, anyway, so what the trick is is I'm gonna come up close. This one is like it's supposed to be. All right, that one will go on first. You have to take the O2 sensor out, and I'm going to show you it underneath the car in a minute. You take the second one, and you drill it out. All right? We use a half-inch drill bit and line it up so we can drill that out without messing up the threads on the inside. All right? And here's an old O2 sensor, same size. It goes on here, and... As you see, it fits in there, all right? If it was a, without drilling it out, it doesn't make it. But you need this extra space to fool the O2 sensor. So the one you drilled out will go on first. And then the second one that's not drilled out goes on the end of it like that. Now, on this Cadillac, uh, where it's located at, I'm going to show you underneath. Uh, you can't get all of this in there. There's not enough room. So what I did, I went and got me a 45 adapter that's got the same threads. All right? That way when I put it on there, it'll lean it down some, and I got room for this. And I'll leave a link for this in the description as well. Uh, even with O2 sensor, that'll be it uh, right down there. So anyway, we're going to put this on there and uh screw it all in there and hopefully uh cure our problem here we are into the car uh the exhaust runs in the center of the car and the wiring for the o2 sensor is hidden behind this shield heat shield and uh it comes out i got it unbolted but it comes out right there all right so it is unbolt this I think it may have some rivets in it. I drill them out. You can only put some screws, self-tap the screws in there later. All right. We're going to take this out. But as you can see, is the O2 sensor here. Once you put this shield on, it does not have room. All right. That's why we got that elbow. All right. So, it is disconnect from the harness. Right here, and now the O2 sensor is seven eighths, seven eighths wrench. Put on there. All right, I already broke it loose. All right, all right, and take that off. And I put the O in on there for show you all up there. So we're gonna take O one off. Put the new one on. All right. So, you see how we're going to go? Like that. All right? But now, you can't put it all in there together like that. You need to take this adapt, take this elbow off. And put it on there first. Alright. That way you can get it to position it right. Where you want it. Uh. 
right, I'm gonna grab the tail out and try to get that where I need it. It's kind of angled there. Let's see if that all that's gonna fit on there now. It's gonna be then. All right. It's gonna stick out a little bit right that's there. Like, that's where the heat shield's supposed to be screwed on. Right there. All right. We're gonna have to deal with that. And uh, I'll probably, uh, we can unscrew it and we'll hide it behind this other shield here. At least protect that, we're trying to protect that wire from all the heat coming off the exhaust. And, and what I'll do is I'll bend that around. And, that when we put this on there, we can give it some protection. And of course, this wire is going to lay up inside of there. Like so. Alright. I'll take the wrench. Get tight on this up. Plug it back in. Make sure to click on there good. I'm going to tuck everything back into the shield. Like so. Move the shield over. And we will, uh, let's try to get this in here. Much as this is possible, uh, I'll break that shield. All right, so now I'm going to screw that back on, and that should protect it some. We're going to keep this up close. As you can uh, protect that from anything running over and stuff. But we're gonna uh, bend this around, adjust it, and get this put on there, and uh, see what happens. And we'll let you know. Uh, that's how we put the non fouler on. That's what you got to do to pull the O2 sensor, and then thinking everything's good, and. Uh, that way, it'll, the computer won't throw off the computer and make the car run like crap. Y'all stay tuned. Free Rain Nomad. You never know what's going to happen next. See ya.